is every single number except x cannot equal negative 1. So what I'm saying here is every number is good at, except for negative 1. Negative 2, fine. Negative 1.1, fine. But x cannot equal negative 1. That is the only problem. The domain is everything except that. So algebraically, sometimes it takes a little bit more time here than when you're on a graph and you have everything already visualized nicely for you, and you can just read the graph. But we have two major problems here. You can't have a negative inside of the square root, and you cannot divide by zero. Those are two kind of recurring things that when I think about, when will my domain not be all real numbers? These are some algebraic situations that create those problems. Um, this slide is going to be mostly practice for you with certain questions. I feel like I'm now here to put the answers on the board. So hopefully you'll get some time. If you need to rewind and look at slides that we just went over, please go ahead and do that. Um, you guys have these notes to follow along, so feel free to flip back and forth. Um, when I look at this top one, I can plug anything in for x that I want. I'm not going to run into an issue with the square root or dividing by zero ever. Even if I plug in negatives, I still can square that negative number and then multiply it by negative one. No problem at all. Here our domain is all real numbers. So everything from negative infinity to positive infinity. Um, another linear equation, second. Um, I can multiply any number by negative three and then take away four. There's nothing that's going to prevent me from doing that. So whatever you want to plug in, I can always multiply by negative 3 and then subtract 4. So once again, we have all real numbers here. In number 3, I do see a problem we're going to have. Because I have this fraction, I am worried about, I know that I cannot divide by 0. I know that will create a problem. So when will that problem come into play? That problem happens when x equals 3. Because that 3 minus 3 in the denominator will give me 0. So if the problem is when x equals 3, then my domain is all real numbers, except when x equals 3. X is not equal 3. Anything else is totally fine. I'm going to run this next one up top. I know that my problem is for the square root of X minus 4. The problem here is that I cannot have a negative inside the radical. So when would I have a problem? I have a problem if the thing inside the radical, which here is x minus 4, and I have a problem if this is negative. So if this is less than 0, I have a problem. So I have a problem then when x is less than 4 by adding that 4 to the other side. And anything, I can check this pretty easily. I'm saying it's a problem when x is less than 4. So 0 should be a problem. Yeah, 0 minus 4, I can't take the square root of negative 4. But if I plug in 5, 5 minus 4 is square root of 1, I'm all set. So if x is less than 4 is my problem, well, it's pretty easy to say that x is greater than 4 is my domain. You can plug in anything more than 4. We can also write that with our interval notation. So I like saying, what's the problem here? And then my domain is everything else. So we graduated from a couple of, I'd say, more basic examples to some things where we're going to have to think and make some decisions. But when I look at this, based on the examples we've seen so far, only one of the problems that I'm thinking about comes into play. We know with a fraction, we cannot divide by zero. 
Well, the form is pretty quick for me to go, oh, so that means you can't plug in three. But here I'm saying there would be a problem. It would be a problem if it would be a total issue, a disaster for this function, if x squared minus 4x were to equal 0. That would be a problem. So I still don't know what x values would be problematic. So I go back to some tricks you guys learned in Algebra 2, in Algebra 1, where if I factor out from x, this says x times x minus 4 equals 0. And if I distribute the x back in, these two are the same. So I have a problem if these two things multiplied together happen to equal zero. And that would happen if x is zero or if x minus four is zero. So if x equals four. So I have a problem for this function if I were to plug in zero, because that would make the denominator zero. I'd also have a problem with this function if I plugged in four. Because 4 squared minus 4 times 4 also gives me 0 in the denominator. So now my domain, I just got to get rid of the problems. I can plug in anything I want, but x cannot equal 0 and x cannot equal 4. The domain is everything except for these two values. Looking here, we wrapped both of our problems into one. I have the issue that we cannot divide by zero, and there's a fraction just like there was in our first example. We also are running into the fact that I can't have a negative number inside the square root. Since we already kind of talked about the dividing by zero, maybe I'll start with the problem. I know that we cannot have a negative in the square root. So what does that mean? My square root has x minus 4 in it, so I have a problem if this x minus 4, the thing inside the square root, I have a problem if that's negative. I have a problem if that's smaller than 0. Which means I have a problem if x is anything less than 4. If I plug in 3, I have a negative in the square root. If I plug in 3.5, I have a negative in the square root. If I plug in any negative, the square root is definitely negative. This is a problem. But the other problem I have to worry about is I cannot divide by 0. And so here, I have a problem if the denominator, which is the square root of x minus 4, I have a problem if that equals 0. Now what would make this thing equal zero? I think it's pretty quick to see. You can square both sides and do some algebra, but what number will make this thing zero? I have a problem if x is equal to four. That's a problem here, not because I have a negative in the square root. I can plug in four minus four, square root of zero, we're all set. But one divided by zero, that's a problem now. So if my problems are everything less than four, and when x equals 4, then what's left over that I can safely plug into this function? I can definitely plug in anything bigger than 4, but it cannot equal 4. So for my domain, I can plug in 4. No, I cannot. 4 is a problem, so I have a round bracket and everything from 4 to infinity is all set. And as I'm saying this, I realize I should have had an or equal to sign on the last slide when I just had the square root, and I'm hoping Michelle Tess do a question on that to properly embarrass me and make sure you guys got what was going on. So, quickly, Ooh, we have four domain questions. These I'm hoping you guys are kind of good on your own. And again, my job is to kind of ask you some